No, 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 it's all right. I, did, I knew it was good, but I didn't know it was this <laughs> Hello, I am Mae Muller and I'm going to be answering some of your questions, so let me see. My birthday is the 26th of August 1997. I'm a Virgo. I feel like I'm not a very typical Virgo though. They're really organised and I'm like the messiest person in the world. Makes me sick, all these girls I shared you with. I bet you are. <laughs> I bet you love and dick. Um, I, I did the session with Jimmy Napes, who also did Anti-Climax. And um, he, I walked in and he sort of had the beat like kind of half, like he had the idea. And then he said, I've just got this melody in my head and it just goes, now I'm done, 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 done. That's all he had. And then I just tipped that and then made dick instead. <laughs> Jenny is an idea. Jenny is whoever you want Jenny to be. Jenny is a personification of a feeling. I sound so deep, I love. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I love the new Selena Gomez song. Oh, what's it called? It's a love, love. Lose You to Love Me, I think it is. Oh, so good! It's a basic answer, but it's just fucking stunning. Oh. Um, I mean, I think they're all pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe is one of my favourites because it's like, it's a little bit emotional, showing a bit of a vulnerability and I don't usually do that and I pretty much like always cry when I perform it. It was just really easy, it just came to me so easily. I wrote it in like 40, like 40 minutes. I feel like that's importante. If I had to choose, I think it would be that one. I'm not performing it on this tour actually, which is a shame, but stream it, maybe. Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. Why is dick such a bop? I ask that question every single day and I don't know. Get back to me when you find out. I find it very, very hard to sit still. Zara loves it. When I'm like extra fidgety and agitated, it takes longer. Sometimes if I really concentrate and I just, you know, we saw it an hour and a half. I mean, touring of Little Mix is pretty up there to be honest. Anticlimax reaching a million views was, was a good one as well on YouTube. In a session and um, I was just about to record some vocals and my manager messaged me and she was like, Little Mix is confirmed and I, it was such a weird feeling and I just looked at my phone and I almost cried, it was really weird. I think because I was writing quite an emotional song as well so it was like playing in the background and it was really like, what is going on? How do you get over a crush? Well, I think just not being in denial, <laughs> just accepting it. If they're not into you, they're not into you. So that's the first step. Just, just if they are not giving you, if they, or if they're giving you the signs that they are not interested, like trust that and believe that, and literally just spend time with your friends. My friends have literally like pulled me out of some <laughs> dire situations. So just spend a lot of time with your friends, with your family, watch your favorite shows you know, just distract yourself and then you'll actually be like, wow, there's actually like a lot of happiness outside of this situation. Um, it might take a while and you will feel a bit shit, but then you'll feel better again. So yeah, that's my advice.